Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome. Today we are going to see how to create a mirror in Unity. There are two ways to create a mirror in Unity. One is using a secondary camera and the other is using a reflection probe. The reflection probe method is basically performance hungry. So it is not advised to use them for mobile devices. First we'll be seeing how to create a mirror using the secondary camera and then we'll go ahead with the reflection probe. So now I have a cube and a plane in my scene. Let me add another plane, 3D object, plane, and this will be my mirror. So let's rotate it in the X axis by 90 degrees and I'll scale it to half of its size. So you can scale it to your requirement. I have my mirror here now and next add another camera to the scene. And we'll call this mirror cam. Make sure to remove the audio listener from your secondary camera. Otherwise, all your sounds, sounds in, in the game, will you will hear them two times because there are two cameras and you'll hear them two times. So in order to avoid the repetitive sound, just remove the audio listener from your secondary camera. You don't need that. Now two. To actually display the camera's view on the mirror, that means our plane, you have to use something called as a render texture. So let's create a render texture. Let's right click, create, render texture. Now you have a new render texture, so let's name it, let's name it cam texture. Drag and drop your cam texture onto your mirror. Now you have a mirror and a mirror camera and a render texture. Now select your mirror camera. In the mirror camera, there will be an option called target texture. Drag and drop your render texture onto the target texture. So now you will be able to see whatever the camera is able to view. Now select your camera and set the clipping plane to zero. And then adjust the field of view so that the distance between the cube and the camera is almost looks the same in the mirror. So now if we move the cube, it moves in the mirror also. If you move the mirror to the sides, you should note that the object is moving in the opposite direction in the mirror. To solve this issue, just select your mirror and whichever axis it's moving in the wrong direction, just change the scale to the negative value. So in my case, it's x axis. So I'll change this to minus 0.5. So now if I move my cube, everything is fine. Uh, one more thing, when you assign the camera texture to the plane, uh, when you assign the render texture to your mirror, there will be a new folder called material. Inside that, the material should be set to unlit texture. Otherwise your mirror image quality will not be good enough. So now we have created a mirror using a secondary camera and a render texture. So let's go ahead with the next method. Uh, we'll, we'll be using a cube as a mirror because reflective probes are generally box projections. So we'll be using a box projection. So we don't need this mirror and this mirror camera. We can delete it. Go to your project window. Let's clear, clear it up. Let's delete your texture also. Now let's create a new cube, 3D object cube, and we'll call this as mirror. And let's adjust the size, 5, 5, 0.1. So this is my mirror. Now go to the hierarchy, click on the plus sign, go to light, and then reflection probe. Make sure the position of the reflection probe and your mirror is the same. In the reflection probe type, select real time. Refresh mode should be every frame. Time slicing should be no time slicing. And then the box size should be same as your mirror size. So mirror scale is 550.1. So reflection probe box size is also 550.1. For the reflection probe to basically to work on your mirror, your mirror should have a metallic and smooth surface. 
uh, go to project window right click create and material set the metallic and the smoothness property to maximum and then assign this material to your mirror so now you should be able to see a reflection on the mirror now depending on from where you are looking at the reflection probe will adjust the size so that's it you have created a mirror using a reflection probe and you have also seen how to create a mirror using a secondary camera so you can use use any method depending on your requirement but remember that reflection probe is very performance expensive if you have a higher resolution reflection probe then that might be something that is very performance hungry see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share